10 of the fantasy football season, and he has a few defenses. I look to get on the wire this week, the first one, the Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans, over the last few weeks, they've been making plays, and they're playing good defense here. And right now, they're pretty good this season, this Tennessee. They're getting to the quarterback. They're getting big interceptions. They're getting fumble recoveries. And we've definitely seen it from them, like I mentioned, since that week six game versus the Buffalo Bills. So the last few weeks here for Tennessee, week six versus Buffalo, 31 points allowed, three sacks, an interception, a fourth down stop. Week seven versus the Kansas City Chiefs, three points allowed, four sacks, and intel, two fumble recoveries, and a fourth down stop. Week eight at Indianapolis, 31 points. A sack, though, two windows, a fumble recovery, a pick six, and a fourth down stop. And at the Los Angeles Rams, it was a tough ball game, no doubt about it. But once again, their defense made plays with a pick six, a few sacks as well. And they've been looking good, this Titan team. And now in week 10 here, they got a good matchup, in my opinion, versus the New Orleans Saints. Their offense is totally different now with Trevor Simeon. I know a few players played pretty decent for them and emerged in the tough loss for the Saints in Week 9. But this Titan team, they've been making plays this season. They've been getting to the quarterback. And I think, in my opinion, they definitely could get to Trevor Simeon and cause a few turnovers and possibly find the end zone on defense for the ter third time in a row in the last three weeks. The next defense I look to get this week's the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, they got Melvin Ingram at the NFL trade deadline. And their defense looked pretty good versus the Green Bay Packers. In week nine, a good ball game, seven points allowed, a sack and interception, and a block kick and a fourth down stop. I know Aaron Rodgers obviously was out in that game, and Jordan Love got his first career start in the NFL. But the Chiefs, they got pressure on him all game. He had to throw a lot of balls away or just throw it in the dirt and avoid sacks as well. So this Chief unit, we've seen the last few seasons, their defense get a little stronger. And maybe right now they're starting to turn the corner. In week 10, they got a decent matchup at the Las Vegas Raiders that give up the 20th most fantasy points to defenses. But right here, it's a big division game, no doubt about it, for this Kansas City Chief team. And right now, if their offense could start clicking and this defense to get going, they could be a factor in fantasy this season is the D. And they're available right now in 62% of fantasy leagues. The next defense is the Denver Broncos. So the Broncos traded their best player no doubt about in Von Miller, but this defense came out in week nine and they pretty much shut down this Dallas Cowboy offense until the fourth quarter in garbage time where the Cowboys put up two late scores in that ball game. So the Broncos, 16 points allowed, two sacks, an interception, a fumble recovery, and a whopping four fourth down stops that really set the tone in this game early in that one. A fourth and one, they stopped Dallas. And then a fourth and two, they stopped them in territory. And then after that, this defense and offense never looked back. So the last two weeks, they've had big ball games. Week 8, 25 fantasy points versus Washington. And then week 9 at Dallas, like I mentioned, 15. So week 10, they got a good matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles. They give up a decent amount of fantasy points to defenses. And I think they can make some problems for Jalen Hurts in this running game as the Broncos. Because even Ezekiel Elliott... They shut down as well, so they got dropped in tons of fantasy leagues because of the matchup at Dallas. And they're available right now in 53% of fantasy leagues. And they're definitely a big game this week, in my opinion. The next defense is the Cleveland Browns. So the Browns, no old Del Beckham anymore, they released them. And this team, they came out poised and played well, and especially on the defensive end of things. So the Browns here, yeah, their defense has been middle of the pack this season but a huge game in week nine at Cincinnati 16 points allowed five sacks two interceptions including a 99 yard touchdown by Denzel Ward what a pick six that was in a fumble recovery and two fourth down stops versus Joe Burrow and this offense so right here Cleveland's got a good matchup in week 10 at the New England Patriots that's more of an offense that is a conservative and a small play offense where they really got to work the whole field to score the football. So right here, the Browns, they're back on the radar, available in 50% of fantasy leagues, and they definitely can make plays and noise once again, in my opinion, at New England in the fifth and final defense I look to get this week's the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers, in my opinion, played a pretty good ball game versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Packers, they've been a solid defense, no doubt about it, this season. So in that game in week nine versus the Chiefs, 13 points allowed, a sack, and a fourth down stop. So right here, with their defense on the field most of the game, with their offense having a lot of three and outs 
and short drives, the Packers held their own, in my opinion. And right now, their defense is available in 73% of fantasy weeks. So the last few weeks from Week 7 versus Washington, 20 fantasy points. Week 8 at Arizona, 8. And Week 9 at Kansas City, 7. So those are pretty decent numbers, in my opinion, for a DST. And right here, in Week 10, they versed the Seattle Seahawks. And the Seahawks, Russell Wilson, most likely will come back, in my opinion. But that offense ain't the end-all, be-all in my opinion. We've seen them struggle even in games with Wilson this season. And this Packer team, they'll most likely get Rodgers back for this game. And the defense, they've been a strong unit for the Packers this season. So I like them pretty much the rest of the way here. And definitely this week available in 73% of fantasy weeks. So that's a few defense and DSTs I look to get on the wire for week 10 of the fantasy football season.